For the first time since these devastating fires decimated parts of Maui, people who live in the hard-hit Lahaina are still waiting for the chance to check on their homes and their neighbors. ABC's Melissa Adan is in nearby Ma'alaya Arbor on the road to Lahaina. She spoke to residents who still don't know what they will find when they're allowed back in. And Melissa, how are those residents doing? What are they telling you? Oh, Rhiannon, it is something, sense of sadness, frustration, but also what I really want to highlight, their resiliency. One woman that I met with, her name is Absidy Rosa. We met right here on the road to Lahaina, as you mentioned. At one point, there were a bunch of cars out here because they were waiting to see maybe the opportunity that the blockade behind me, where the police are, they would open it to let, allow residents to go to their home. That has not happened yet. It is only for emergency personnel as of this point. So she was handing out water, volunteering. I was asking her about her aid, and she was encouraging the people to go to a shelter, go somewhere safer. And then she told me that she learned through cell phone video that she lost her home. She hasn't gone back. She hasn't been able to see it for her own eyes. But you see the video. You see, you hear the reports from others who have either been out there or made it out and escaped. And it is, it is frustratingly sad. One thing she did tell me, though, she said material things. It's kind of a hard pill to swallow. But at least we have our family. They all made it. Rhiannon. Wow. We are glad to hear that our family all made it. The resiliency, as you mentioned, is remarkable. You mentioned emergency vehicles coming in and out of that road. What is the latest on the search and rescue operations? Uh, definitely. So from the vantage point that we've had since yesterday, it's really astonishing to see the incredible amount of trucks from Hawaiian Electric. It makes you realize there is no power. So they have so much work. The amount of linemen, electricians heading out just to restore power. Then you also have these big trucks and kind of crane equipment because they have to move out a lot of the massive power lines that possibly fell, debris or rubble that is possibly stacked on other uh, areas. So you think about that until also they can safely clear the roadways. People won't be allowed to go back. You know, a lot of this reminds me of other natural disasters I've covered. Uh, or Hurricane Irma, for for instance, when it devastated the Keys, it was very similar because towards South Florida, there was only one way in, one way out. And you had a lot of residents just waiting to see their homes, hear about their neighbors, and it is frustrating. And that also frustration comes, a lot of residents calling out on the governor. They want a swifter action. They want to make sure that this aid comes, and it comes fast. Rhiannon. Yeah, and let's talk about that. FEMA's administrator is expected to travel to Hawaii to meet with state and local officials. You mentioned they are people are frustrated. What kind of help does Hawaii need right now? Sure. So first and foremost, from the federal government, you want you want grants, you want funding, right? Then you you look at okay, the resources, the gas, for instance. We've seen the oil tankers come. The uh, making sure that the electricians are arriving and help as well from other places, so you get electricity, right? Those are the basics. Then the first and foremost thing that the people here of Maui need are homes. So incredibly enough, the governor on the press conference last night shared and asked to all the residents of Hawaii, if you find it in your heart and you have your ohana, let some of these people who've lost their homes into your home. That is very powerful. And that is exactly what the people here of Hawaii are looking for right now. Literally a place to sleep. Rhiannon. That is very powerful. Melissa Adan, thank you so much for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.